Young man, if I may be so bold, how much for the floating thing, hmm? Paimon's not for sale! <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm having some financial trouble recently. I probably couldn't afford it. I'm just a small-time merchant anyway. I don't deal in rare and exotic treasures. You know, the more you talk, the more suspicious you sound. My, someone's in a grumpy mood, aren't they? Here, maybe some candy will make you feel better. Ooh, suspiciously trustworthy! So, I assume you two are in Liyue for the lantern rite? This year's Mingxia lantern is supposed to be a sight well worth the wait. The plastrite that will lift the lantern into the air is the largest in 20 years. It's big enough to make you wonder if the fabled floating city in the clouds really does exist. I guess it must just be held up by a similarly sized chunk of plastrite. Sounds awesome! <laughs> I hope our paths cross again. Welcome to Liyue. Well, I can't speak for the whole of Liyue Harbor, but you're always welcome in my store, at least. So many stalls! Here, there, everywhere! I'm Ching Ching. I just donated Dolly. Last night in my dream, Dolly told me her wish was to fly up into the sky and see the view. So I gave her to the lady over by the big deer lantern. Dolly's wish will come true now. Won't it? I did the right thing. Didn't I? Wishes are supposed to come true at the lantern, right? Aren't they? This year's Mingxiao Lantern is dedicated to Skybracer. He always was a show-off. I'm sure he will be very pleased. Well, that's the plan. I do hope they make the antlers big enough. They were his pride and joy, after all. The story goes that the antlers were made from the very essence of Rex Lapis's divine power which made it the hardest material in all of Liyue. But then that fateful battle happened. The gods exchanged powerful blows, and the mountain started collapsing. To avoid impacting the villagers at the foot of the mountain, the Adeptus got his friend to chop his antlers off. He used those blood-drenched antlers as a wedge to prop up the mountain. And if that wasn't enough of a sacrifice, he then kept on fighting until his blood was drained and his life ran out. Thanks to him, Mount Tianhang still stands tall and proud to this day, and the blood that he lost in the battle turned into the Bishui River. <laughs> Whether you believe the story or not, I'm just happy you're willing to listen to me tell it. Surely the reason the Lantern Rite exists is because people throughout the ages have chosen to come together as friends, rather than stay in isolation. Goodbye. May the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. So big. Look! That stone is floating! Luckily, it's tethered in place. If it wasn't held down, who knows where it would fly off to? 
This is the plasterite to be used for the Ming Xiao Lantern. The whole of the Xiao Market is centered around it. Oh, hello! Who are you? I'm Zhang Zhao. Recently, I've been tracking progress on the construction of the Ming Xiao Lantern. You seem like newcomers. Is this your first lantern ride? Yes! How can you tell? Well, I don't remember running into any weird and wonderful mascots at last year's festival. You'll see lots of people releasing little lanterns during the festival. Those ones are called Xiao Lanterns. But there's also a huge one, a joint effort by all the people of Liyue Harbor. That one is called the Ming Xiao Lantern. Almost every business in Liyue has a booth at the annual Xiao Market. But despite its popularity, this is the one time of the year they're not looking to make a profit. The street market exists solely to raise the funds and materials required for the Ming Xiao Lantern construction. So, the Xiao Market... Does it have stuff you can eat? Plenty. And if I do say so myself, the Lantern Rite is the best festival for sampling Liyue's local delicacies. It is Liyue's biggest annual festival, after all. Showing off your craft is a great way to dress. So even if there's no mora to be made, everyone is secretly going all out to get their produce under the spotlight. Folks in Liyue are so smart. If you need any help, you can look for Wangya. She's overseeing the Lantern Rite. She's usually somewhere around the Xiao Market. She's your first port of call. Oh, will she know which stall sells the tastiest stuff? <laughs> no doubt. When it comes to the Lantern Rite, no one knows more than she does. Got it! Let's go to the Xiao Market and look for Wang Ya. And then, go to the stall with the tastiest food and eat till we're stuffed. Can I help you? From the look of you, you don't hail from Li Yue. Are you traveling through? Well, overseeing? <laughs> not exactly. The Lantern Rite Festival belongs to the whole of Li Yue. It's not just one person's to oversee. I'm just taking care of a few small things, doing my bit to make sure everyone who joins in the festivities has a good time. We want to know where the tastiest food in the whole wide shell market is. Hmm... The tastiest? Hard to say. I guess that depends on your personal preference. Still, what I can tell you is that everyone's talking about Yin Yen's stall. If it gets any busier over there, I'm gonna have to bring the Melolith to keep things orderly. Hey, you'd best get over there quick before the streets get too crowded with people. Oh, and if you are heading to Yin Yen, please do me a favor and run this document over to him. It's a summary of the data from last year's Lantern Rite, compiled by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. It has a few operational tips for our vendors. If you're heading in that direction, it'd be a great help. As thanks, I've got a gift for you, when you get back. We really don't have enough hands on deck. If I'd known, I would have roped some others in. Ah, customers. Take a look and decide for yourself. I can do anything on the menu. Or if there's something in particular you're after, I can do that instead. Paimon will have... Huh. Now that you mention it, you do have a lot of options for a food stall. <laughs> Naturally. If there's a dish I can't cook, I've yet to hear about it. Uh-huh. Same every year. The old operational tips. How's this for a tip? Leave the handbook to one side and concentrate on the killer cooking. Ugh, hand it over. I'll use it to feed the fire later. Come on then, place your orders. Aren't you here to eat? There are so many. This one looks good, but Paima wants to try that one too. Huh? Grilled tiger fish? That's the one Pervasis love to eat, isn't it? Hmm. Seeing as the Lantern Rite is about commemorating the heroes of the past, let's order this one! This can be our way of honoring his memory! Ah, your friend has a good eye for food. That's our specialty. Please wait. I'll have it ready for you in no time. Okay, here's your grilled tigerfish. What do you think? Mmm, 
delicious. Of course. What kind of a guide would Paimon be otherwise? <laughs> well, hope you enjoy your food. I gotta see to some other customers. If you get hungry again, you know where I am. So you're back. What do you think? Yin Yan makes a mean grub, huh? Ah, so tasty. Oh, yeah? <laughs> he said that last year, too. <sighs> if he'd listened to our marketing tips, he'd be doing even better by now. Anyway, not to worry. Here's the gift I was talking about. This Xiao Lantern is for you. Wow, such a beautiful lantern. How is it made? Uh, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to explain the process concisely. But if you're interested in Xiao Lanterns, you can ask Jingming over there. He's in charge of both the Xiao and Ming Xiao Lanterns. So he's responsible for this super duper huge one too? That's right. He should be easy to find. Just over there, I think. If we could make a Xiao Lantern for Xiao, maybe that would cheer him up a bit. Let's find Jingming and see what he has to say! <laughs> now isn't this lively? At this rate... Hmm. Teach you how to make Xiao lanterns. Oh, hmm. You don't look like locals to me. Looking to try your hand at making your own? I'll be happy to teach you. There's no one way to make a Xiao Lantern, but let me start by showing you the simplest one. I should have some spare materials over here. Uh, just a second. Ah, they still need a bit of work. Take these and give it a go. comes with practice. No one's expecting your first try to be perfect. Folks like you who want to learn my craft are a rare find nowadays. Did you build that humongous Ming Xiao Lantern using the same method? That one? Hmm. I suppose it's fair to say the method is the same, broadly speaking. But no single person can take credit for it. The whole of Liyue comes together to make it. So it was a community effort? Surely you've heard about it. The Xiao Market is actually a fundraiser, aiming to support the Ming Xiao Lantern's construction. Whoa! So that's how the Ming Xiao Lantern is built! Such is the Lantern Rite tradition. The Ministry of Civil Affairs might be covering the bulk of the costs, but it's the citizens of Liyue that donate the materials, among many other things. Oh, so that's what that little girl meant when she said she donated her ragdoll. But since when do you build Ming Xiao Lanterns out of ragdolls? Well, the Lantern Ride is a major festival. If somebody wants to make a contribution, no matter how small, or in this case symbolic, we tend not to reject them. All well-meaning contributions are gratefully received. Especially considering how grand of an occasion the Lantern Ride is for everyone, people believe that joining the effort might bring them good luck. <laughs> Alrighty then. Shouldn't you get going? With all that the festival has to offer, I'm sure you must be on a busy schedule. Of course, if you want to make another Seattle Lantern at any time, you know where to find me. Happy Lantern Ride. Have fun. This is the Lantern Ride Gala. So, did you find Jingming? We did! And he taught us all about 
how to make shell lanterns. Even though Paimon can't really remember any of it. <laughs> no worries. You can always ask Jingming if you need to refresh your memory. I should go. Duty calls. Happy lantern, right? <laughs>